All right, it is 8.33, going to the hobby shop. Looking a little busy. Probably most of these oil change cars. Hopefully get us a spot and get these brakes knocked out as soon as possible. I think we have everything needed, so we should be good. All right, so shop is wide open. Bay number one is for us. Ready for this? We're starting early today, so we have plenty of time for whatever could possibly happen, but I think we're good. And especially with the trick of locking the brake pedal down before you start, I think we should be all set, I hope. I really, really hope. Good old bay number one. Look at that, we got the sun coming up. We got the wagon in the shop. That'd be a good day. All right, so we've got front road calipers in here, the front pads right in, rear brake rotors, front brake rotors. We have the new dust shields for the back. We have the new brake lines, the rear pads, some hardware in there, and the rear wheel bearings. We should have everything needed, I hope. And we have coffee, gotta have coffee. stupid so got to start off the day by messing up each and every one of my center caps i don't have the tool for these i've been doing them by hand which has been no problem but all of a sudden they are the tightest things ever even using the big old wrench i had to crank on them so hard to break them free so i have to go through and fix all these because i trashed each one of them which is super sick i haven't even started the brakes yet that's annoying but at least they're off so now we can go ahead and lift the car and start on, i hope the brakes are less annoying than that that was the most annoying first step ever so hopefully these just go please just go on on nicely oh, i'm so sad about that that's annoying that's so annoying all right so we haven't seen before this is our standard brake setup on the mark 4 br6 uh the going 54 caliper with the 288 millimeter uh, rotor here we're actually keeping the same caliper just a longer carrier arm to fit the 312 millimeter rotor but main reason is these things are toast they sat for so long when i first got the car how this looks here was the entire face of the rotor and by driving the car i made it burnt a lot of it off but it's still this will fail inspection immediately and this is all crusty you can see down there i mean there's still a bit of life in the pads but all the rust inside there like chunks are like actually falling off so these gotta go and then in the rear pretty much the exact same story you can see how it's like hot and glazed over pieces falling off and then back here the pads are actually a lot worse they're almost gone so all of this is going away and instead of just replacing with the standard, I think this is 239 in the rear and then 288 in the front. I decided might as well upgrade. I already have all this stuff. So nice pick up for the car. you all this crusty stuff and pass inspection first try. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go through and just take all the calipers off from where the rotors are. Uh, because we learned yesterday, if you compress the brake pedal down and have it held down and locked the entire time, uh, air does not get in the ABS system, which we do not want to happen again. Happen to her car, it's a pain to do and fix everything. So we're gonna pull these off first. I assume if the pedal's locked down, this will be clamping to some degree and we have to fight it off. So then we take them off first before we take any of the brake lines off, uh, hold the brake pedal down and they'll go through and change calipers, change lines and that kind of stuff. And hopefully there's no error system and we're good to go first try. Alright, 
so we've got all the caliper off all around. The fronts are off, the rears are off, all of our calipers off all around. This one's off in the rear. We have to pull off the entire thing, pull off the tiny dash shield, replace all of that. Uh, but the front's pretty simple. And again, having that brake pedal compressed, we should have no issue with air in the ABS system. You can see this one's off. So all of this, oh, well, there goes that. Whoops, thankfully, we're getting a new line. So it doesn't really matter. This thing just like crusty as ever. So all this is going away. I'll get a wire brush in here, clean this up a bit. And then uh, new stuff going on. We didn't have to break it. I'll think about it, but. This. Okay. All right, so side number one is just about done. Woo! What a setup. 312 for the rotor, the bigger VR5 caliper. Well, just a bigger carrier here. Same actual caliper on top, but the yeah, action good. New brake line back there. Not bad. We also went through, filled the caliper with brake fluid first, filled the entire line, so hopefully to minimize uh, the bleeding process. But dang, that looks good compared to what we came from. This crusty mess right here, and these things are just still trashed, like trash. So huge upgrade for the wagon. One side down, three to go. Two, buddy done and done so front of the car officially done very very easy straightforward to do thankfully even like all these broke free honestly besides getting the center caps off the wheels we really had no issue with the front which is good we got to the rear we got a little bit more to do with the wheel bearing that kind of stuff but the front looks sick i love the color with the uh with the black and yellow it's filthy I mean, this car is disgusting right now but when it's clean this with that behind the wheels it'll be a nice little combo super happy with this color choice i kind of wish we would have powder coated this too to match that because like we have this red and this red and that red but it is what it is you mainly only to see this section so it's all good so now moving to the back of the car i've actually never done wheel bearings on a mark four only ever on the mark three but i assume this little cap here pops off there's some sort of nut inside there we'll pull all this off there's probably a race in the back side and then press the old bearings out press the new bearing in I know we should be good to go, and I think, and then after that, once this is out of the way, there's four bolts that hold this tiny shield on, uh, new shield on first, then new rotor, caliper, and hopefully it's as straightforward as that. All right, to the trash pile for you. So back here, saw that, 100% saw that. You know, the fact that you're out here walking around is, is wild. There you go, kind of over the wheel, kind of sketchy, but you kind of, no, don't do it over the wheel. Go ahead, go ahead, do it, do it, do it. Oh. Nice. I say, the fact that you're walking around is awesome. So with this, uh, you have to still press it, but I was thinking more of like an actual hub where you press the bearing fully in, but it's not like an all-wheel drive car. Uh, so pop this off, I'm pretty sure it's a nut, slide the entire thing off. Hopefully the race comes off with it. If not, we have the tool here. And then you can see in the back, that bolt, that bolt, that one, and the one over here are the ones you need to take out and we can pull this shield off and put on our new one. Bam, look at that. So underneath your little cap here, you have this, which actually this is like the original like zinc coating. Looks brand new. So there's that. This is our new bearing and hub. You can see everything this way. Same size, lines up perfectly, nice and new. So I'm gonna need a bearing puller. I'll actually pull this off and then we'll push our new one on and then this is done. Shiny new. Probably should not do one for the front knuckles, but we'll do that later on. That's for a later date. really easily. So it's like some barbaric thing to like pull teeth with. I could try to. You'd probably do it. I just hope that inner race comes off too. Well, easy. Up, oh, it's stuck on there. The so, yeah, I hope that comes off. But then this looks so clean under here, which is nice. So once this is off and this rear seal, then we can put our new one on. Well, I can get this off, but normally they stick. We might need a torch. I think there might be a chance I can get the puller all the way in there. It's long enough. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we might be money right here. I gotta get a torch or like fight it off. Might fold that seal over though. It's bending down here. Yeah. 
Come on, come on. Nope. You're just pulling the seal. You're yeah, I'm pulling the seal. Race. If I can pull the seal off first, I can go back again and get lower. Try. And try to get on the bottom side. Well, the seal came off. But I'm hoping there'd be more of a lip back here, which there almost is none. Might be able to get this on there. But we might need some heat in there and try and heat it up and get it off. Alright, so I was able to get the end of the puller like behind the race a little bit. Might be enough, might not be enough. Only way you're gonna bro. If that doesn't work. Mm. I don't want this is last resort. <laughs> I like destroying things, but I can just pop it off. I mean I got it on there. Yeah. But the thing is how much Hey, hey listen, it's gonna work. I don't wanna hear all that. Bring me a grinder already. I think the bomb's gonna pop off. Come on. I think if not, we're gonna reset, get some heat on it, and we'll be okay. Yeah, the bomb is popping off already. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna reset, get some heat on it, and then I think it's gonna work. Oh, yeah. You see it moving? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at us using our brains. Instead of just, you know, smashing stuff yeah, and cutting it to pieces, uh, my usual ways, I decided to go the smart route. Tactical. I really like it. You Look at that. Mature. Even though I almost melted the sensor, it's fine. Has got you in a new All right, let's see. So. Oh, that's what it is, actually. I can just pull off my hand, but it's still a bit stuck. Either way, we got it. <laughs> that was just spinning. I got scared for a second. Oh my gosh. So close. One down. Nice. All right. Two left. They're a bit crusty. I think we have new hardware here. Probably just swap out a little bit. One left. Big money. Ah. Ah. I was spinning. So we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning up between uh, the hub here, or the, the rear beam, and the little stub axle. Get all this cleaned up, clean off our sensor, and then press a new bearing on. Uh, I have the new shield over there. It's kind of weird how this design works. Just kind of bolts up like this. But easy enough. And then just pop a caliper, and this side will be done. I gotta make sure I have the right amount of spacers to make sure the new caliper sits properly. But like I said the ECS tuning one's 5.5. People on Vortex said should be about six millimeters. With the spacers I have, it's like 5.8. So we should be right in the middle. I just like visually look and make sure that this is in the center of the motor and we should be uh, good to go. Look at the difference. This is the OEM one from the 239 versus this one, which is actually massive because the one on the four motion cars is like a little bigger than this. But for the front wheel drive ones, it's huge. I mean, I guess you could go through and just cut this lip off uh, and make it still fit. Right now, it would just hit this side, but Marvin had these brand new OEM. We might as well do it like uh, as OEM as possible, and it'll look nice and fresh. That way, when we inspection, they won't see it like hacked up, and then I want them to have nothing to complain about, so that'll look much better. Also, I'm pretty sure I have some trim paint in the car. I'm gonna sand this down a little bit and just kind of cover some of it, just because it's not perfect right now, but I want to just cover up some of that and make it look a little bit better. Eventually I'll go through and rebuild a whole separate rear beam, new bushings here, and like powder coat and have it all done. But for now, just to make it look nicer, we'll do that. Dang, look at all that freshness. We got some new hardware in there, the fresh dust shield. Looking good. Now we're gonna do swap this out. So unlike Casey's car, these ones from my car and the front wheel drive actually are if I can hold it with one hand. You just but these ones are actually the same length, surprisingly enough, even though this is for the VR54 motion. And it's the same length as Casey's R32 ones, but on this car they go down. And mine for the front wheel drive, actually the same length, which is cool. And same for this side, up in there, same thing from there to there, same length. So we'll swap these onto my car and it'll look fancy and cool. And then back here, uh, hub is back on. I actually just slid on, no press needed. This is torqued down, this is on. Last thing to do is just swap this over, um, caliper, rotor, and then uh, I'll be done. Also, Martin's here as well, he brought VCDS. He will help us do the final step of bleeding. Look how tiny it looks. This side looks so tiny and so like crusty compared to this side now. It looks so much better. So it's not done yet, but this side's about 95% of the way there. Look how good this is looking. Got the R32 or the four motion caliper or the carrier mounted. Now you can see in the back side, 
we have three washers here and three washers there and the carrier get the right angle on it perfectly centered to the rotor exactly what you want basically exactly what the um adapter bracket does uh there there's this 5.5 like i said between we measured yesterday these three washers come out to 5.8 millimeter and you can see it's perfectly dead center. So i need to now set the pads in put the caliper on this side will be 100 percent done and then over here they've been working got the wheel bearing off next will be to pop off this new stuff back on and now we know the process three washers going pretty easy but you said the hardest spot to be bleeding the brakes i think we'll be okay we kept the pedal down we filled each caliper with fluid beforehand i think we'll be okay hopefully it looks sick though it looks so sick let me see it professional good yeah that professional over here let me get a full look here Woo. Dude, these brakes look sick. I love this color so much. So good. So we're finishing up the driver's side rear right now. Just tightening um, the carrier arm little bolts there. We're gonna connect the e-brake and then I still have to go underneath the car and swap out um, these lines up here. But look how good this looks. Look how good this looks. So nice. All new hardware, everything's locked, tighted, tightened down. So sick. That dust shield's massive, but looks kind of cool. All the OEM Plus here. Okay, so probably the longest process of this. These little brake lines took so long because that one's way up there. This bracket was kind of bent. Just a nightmare to get them off and get everything back on, but it's all tight. There's no leaks. All of our brakes are done. It looked fantastic. So now what I do, hook up the VCDS, drop the car down, bleed everything, and then hopefully we're out of here with brakes and good to go. Oh, they look good, but the back of the car is a little bit of work, but not too bad. So if you want to run R32 rear calipers or four washing calipers on your car, it's no problem. Just make sure you got to put a couple washers right in there, space it out a little bit. This is nice and centered, no problem. So good to go. She's looking good. The fresh calipers in this car is such justice. So things were going very well. We're about to bleed the system. You can see the laptop's already in there, ready to go. And both rear calipers are dumping fluid out of the piston. Out of the piston, right? Yeah. You think what, bad seal maybe? Or, I mean, they, yeah. were, they all fit there so nicely and there was no issue, so. Yeah, probably now I would uh, tear it off. Yeah. And then we can open one and pull it apart and see what's going pull on. Pull it apart and see what, what happened. Okay. The only thing I think what could happen is that the inner ceiling ring is broken on both. That's crazy. What? I mean, yeah, it happened. So wow. both rear calipers just dumping the exact same stream of fluid out of the piston on both sides. So uh, we'll disconnect the e-brake line, the brake line, pull it apart and just see what happened. Yeah. You're so close. Yeah, so close, man. Always something. But right, I can't so see. Pistons back out. Oh, what about Chris? Look what's in there. Some dirty stuff? No, there's still sand in it. Uh, maybe there's sand. Make out between the seal? Yeah. And the seal's not broken, right? You don't see anything no, broken? No, no, the seal's not broken. So we had to blast it out. So there's still some sand from the sand blasting. You can see it down there, the dark stuff. So we can clean that out on both of them, reseat it. I think we'll be okay, hopefully. But you see them in the inside? Yeah. It's everywhere. So probably what, fill the brake cleaner and spray it out, probably? Yeah, we'll try. If anything? All right, well, stand by. We'll try this one first, see if we can clean it, get the rest of the sand out of there and fix it. 11. If it's good, we'll do the next one, then uh, we were so close, man. So close. So there was slight hope for a second to clean it out, but we realized we made a slight, slight error. Yesterday when we rebuilt everything, uh, there's a whole intersection of the rear piston 
that's supposed to thread onto that one, which is why in the rear calipers, you have to push and spin them down and uh, ours is open. I mean, that, that makes sense of why it went in so easy. It came out so easy. That means I brought this. So like, I right, could have to spin it back out, but, but first, it just popped out. I think we have two pistons here. Yeah, no, we have both rear calipers with no, with no inner. Yeah, the the pistons from the from the small. Oh, the, the other ones are they yeah. the same size? I, th I think they are the same size. Okay, we might still be business. If we pull the piston out of my old calipers. Yeah, we, and toss we it can in here. check it. We can check it. Uh, we take a meter if it's the okay. same piston. Yeah. We uh, just change it. Or if you want to, if you don't want to stay too late tonight, we can. We know what the issue is now, and I'm sure in the bag at home I have the stuff to put in Let's this one. It. And then. Let's um, do it tonight. Yeah. Tonight. All right, so old piston pulled apart. You can see, let me see this one. That is the whole inner piece we're missing. It actually threads on to that inside there. If you look at our piston over here, you can see she empty. So hopefully those innards fit this one. We can thread it on, be good to go. If not, back home. And I have all the old parts from these calipers. Uh, we'll need to use those up. That'll be tomorrow. But this is our tonight fix. If it works, also, if not, we'll be back tomorrow with the parts of this one coming out not yet you need another plant gotta pop it out of there oh man oh man boys the transfer has been completed by the by the surgeon martin look at that so this is the innards out of the old piston now in our new piston finish off the little snap ring hope it all sews properly This is like that uh, fourth quarter Hail Mary. That is so much better than both of them. Okay. It's okay, you think? Back in the game. Back in the game, he says. Nice. All right, so we'll do a swap because we put this caliper or the old one on this side to not be leaking. We'll need to do a little swap again. Swap and swap for the other side. It should be good. Pending no more. <laughs> this. Granted, though, the fronts aren't leaking. <laughs> We're pressing the brakes and the fronts are holding fine. So that's good. All the lines are holding fine. Oh man. Always something. All right, we are making incredible progress. Driver's side, fully assembled with all of the internal pieces this time happened. Now I was putting this back on, forgot the brake pads. Just one thing after another. But this side completely good to go. Everything is there at this point. I sure hope. Uh, now we have this back right side. Uh, that one's pulled off. He is currently rebuilding that one with the old innards and the new piston and then all back together And then we should be good to go No, there's a hole in the piston oh, normally. No. <laughs> yeah, but if there's no gasket inside Yeah, and it's, it's running it out bleeds straight out. So well, that was fast. Are you done? Wow, that was quick. Yeah Dr. Martin over here So as soon as that one's back together so we I'll... Fucked up, we fucked up by ourselves yeah, we messed up all on our own. So since so that one's done, uh, we'll toss it back on the car. Don't go through VCDS, bleed everything, and then out of here tonight, or maybe tomorrow, hopefully tonight. Tonight? Tonight, hopefully tonight. She's working on possibly getting out of the car. We'll talk about that later on. All right, moment of truth, Martin's back in the car. Our rear coppers have been rebuilt, resealed, and back in the car. As soon as he hit the brakes, it was dumping fluid out. Are you on the brakes? Oh, I see it flashing. I don't see anything. No? To the other side? Still no? I think we're good. Last time, as soon as we pressed the brake pedal one time, waterfall. Both sides, the same time. Straight waterfall. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't see any leaks at all. Not by the bleeder valve, not by the line coming in. Oh, and by the way, the stock Mark IV line fits no problem to the R32 caliber. So you don't have to use the extension to go this way. You can go from the top and it's good. But no leaks because now all the pieces are there and we're good to go. So let me check the fronts. Make sure none of the piers leaking. Nothing there. Last one. Nothing there. Nothing by our lines. Yeah. Woo! I think we're good. Pressure blader hooked up, VCDS hooked up. <laughs> yep, we have this reservoir, Casey. We're gonna do your side as well. Here's this one for you. So with Martin, he said we're gonna bleed both fronts at the same time. 
what BCDS wants us to do. Uh, I'll grab you at 11 in a second and we'll start. Yep. Yeah, no uh, no leaks anywhere. Thank goodness. Hold on, check this out over here. No leaks there. No leaks there and no leaks over there. Woo! Then we got it. This close. Everything was holding, all the calipers were bleeding. We're on to the last one. And I don't even know where the screw went to, but the caliper itself, the threads inside of here, uh, stripped out the caliper. I was hoping it was just the, uh, I can't even get it out now. There it is. I was hoping it was the threads on here in the bleeder valve, but these are fully intact. The threads inside of here are gone. So, unless you can like, Retap it, which I don't think you can. Um, or maybe like just slam a bigger bolt in there. I said we could just JB weld it in because we got we got it bled. There's nothing but fluid coming out of the side. There's no air, so it's working and it's clamping down. Dry it out, JB weld one of these in there. I mean, I'm not gonna bleed it anymore. I mean, it is what it is. Because now I need a new caliper, repowder coat it. Ah, <sighs> we were so we were so close, and yeah, the caliper stripped. I don't care about safety. I got three out of four. That's plenty. And this one's this one's work. It is working. So I don't know. Maybe just put like I said, it's already bled. Put a big bolt in there. Bam. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> put a big bolt in there and just weld it shut and call it a day. That sucks, man. We were so close. And I was trying to tighten it again for him to pump, and then it just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. And then I saw the inner threads coming out, and well, oh, game over. We were so close. So I have to get an extension from vehicle reg because I won't have a caliper, not this caliper soon enough. Well, actually no, Marvin does have a caliper. It's not powder coated. It'll be, a, ah, okay, things to decide. Well, boys, we tried. Can't say we didn't try. Rebuilt the rears, we tried so hard. One bleeder valve. Mike, I appreciate you staying a little bit late. Thank you so much, sir. No problem, man. Way back. Oh yeah, we're riding in the golf bar now because yeah, nice. my car's in there. Mike, you're a nice guy. <laughs> oh man. So I think the plan now, I'm gonna hit up Martin or Marvin. Got Martin and Marvin. I'm gonna hit up Marvin. Uh, maybe just borrow his GTI rear caliper just for the back for the time being, pass inspection, and then I'll have to get another R32 slash VR5 rear caliper, powder coat it, and get it back on the car. Well, I'm still tempted just to send a bolt in there, lock it up, call it a day, because, I mean, it's already bled. We should be good. Or JB welded in there or something. I don't know. But everyone's against me putting a bolt in there and JB welding stuff, so. You cannot do that. I probably could do it. Or we dry up it up and just weld it shut. No. Chris, there's a break <laughs> I got three out of the four. This car is cool. So I drove it earlier. I didn't show it, but it shows the boost right here. This car makes 30 pounds of boost, which is wild. You gonna do a donut? No. I feel like I'm gonna do a donut. For my seatbelt. It's cool though. My springs are still back there. I heard a roll around earlier. I'm trying to debate if I should just throw them away or. Sure. He yeah. said, and, and that, then he died. It must be a car who was still registered. Martin, Martin yeah. tells a story right now about a guy with the golf country and then he goes, and then he, he died. died. <laughs> he's very impressive. <laughs> and then he's dead. And then he's dead. Brutal end of the story. Nothing in the middle. Like, yeah. he got sick. He just, <laughs> then he died. You, you, you got to launch it? He never did an no. inspection on the car. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's that, 33 pounds of boost? Jeez. Yeah. Alright, to our next car. 
This is Martin's new fancy work car. So also, wow, this seat's like forward. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Oh, it, it, it isn't adjusted. Oh, look at the seat. <laughs> Where's the controls? It's nice. It's nice to be. I've got plenty of space, so feel free. Where is the seat? Oh, hold on. Do I not have one? I don't think so. Oh, there it is. There's a wheel. Hold on. We're going back. We're going all the way back. Move your leg. Are you stopping me here? There you are. So thank you to Mike for driving us. Thank you to oh, the car yelling at me. Thank you to Marvin for also now driving us home and then hanging out all day long. It was a long day. And chat with my wife killing all day long. It's been a long day. We started at like 9 a.m. and it's now 8 p.m. Oh, you ate burritos tonight, so we'll have, to, we'll have time. What a long day. Okay, so again, thank you to Martin for driving us around. Just got back home, asked about to hop in the R32, go to Marvin's shop. Now he said I can use his GTI or caliper, which I think is the same as my R30 will VR5 4 Motion 1 in the back. I think it's the same. If not, I'll borrow his caliper and his carrier, swap it onto my car, hit inspection. Uh, looks like probably Wednesday morning at this point, which is the last day of my registration. Kind of close, but I'm about to head to Marvin's shop right now, grab the stuff we need, and then tomorrow morning, we'll go reassemble the car. Martin's gonna come back. Uh, we're gonna bleed everything. We're down to just one caliper, get it good to go. And then, yeah, inspection Wednesday morning. Very last minute, but I think we can pass. I hope we can pass. Otherwise, I, I mean, I can always just get an extension on my registration, but it's kind of a pain to do that, and I just wanted it to pass first try. So we're trying to do that now. I said to Marvin, it's me again. <laughs> Back again. I'm kind of glad that you have everything I'm needing, which it saves me a lot of time. Oh boy. I think though the GTI caliper is the same as the one I have. Possibly. He's doing some fighting right now. Need some help? Uh, driver's side rear, so it's gonna be that bottom one, I believe. Yeah, this is the Thank one. Yeah, just in case. Actually, this looks the same as what I have now. Are the calipers the same for four motion and for anniversary? Yeah. Maybe. It looks. Like yours only had this. Thing. Yeah, which actually on mine it worked. I used mine like this, and it worked no problem the same way, just like this. So, that's good. Yeah, last one, valve, trip the caliper out. Unbelievable. So I'll borrow this for the time being just to get mine fixed and then I'll return this to you after I find one on my own. Yeah, I'll borrow both just in case, but it should only be this one. I hope I don't need more than one. I really don't hope. All right, so massive thank you to Marvin hooking up with the rear caliper, which looks identical to the four motion rear caliper. I think it's just a carrier that's different. Um, so I should be able to find either like a VR5 four motion, R32 caliper or GT anniversary caliper. Any one of those should work for my car. The annoying part is finding a new one to get and have sandblasted, disassembled, powder coated again, and then back on the car. Um, but at least for Wednesday morning, we should have the car back assembled, working no problem, past inspection, and we can worry about getting that last caliper matched up later on. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna go online tonight trying to find one to buy. But right now, more important things, we're getting burritos. It's been a long day. All we wanted today was to get burritos. It's supposed to be a quick day. Almost, well, a few mistakes on our part. We missed some things to put back in the calipers, but things happen. And then, uh, I ruined the caliper, but things happen. But now, we get burritos and we enjoy the rest of the night. So what? What a showstopper. What a long day. <gasps> burritos. Look, it's glowing for us. Burritos. Oh, it's about to get crazy. We got the burritos. burritos. We got the hoopty. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm starving. All right, we are finally back home. It has been an extremely long day thank you to marvin thank you to martin thank you to mike thank you to casey just everyone who helped out today we were so close we were so close so far away but again thank you to marvin i got a new caliper for that side we'll toss it on tomorrow it'll all be good to go also we'll have this car at the hobby shop so we're going to re-bleed the brakes on this one and on my wagon and have both cars good to go wednesday morning inspection hopefully pass first try uh i hope but Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a long one, but I kind of just wanted to film everything because it was a big process. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.